This is my temperature jacket, and when I move the magnet onto the reed switch, the LEDs will light up. First they go one way, then the other way. Next, the temperature sensor will take a reading and will hear the reading in beeps. One tone is for the tens, and then the next tone is for the ones. And then we'll see it, it'll light up the degrees. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seventy. Seven degrees. To make this project, I use wool and wool roving to make patches for the jean jacket. For the electronics, I use the lily pad Arduino, a lily pad temperature sensor, a lily pad buzzer, and a reed switch. I also use several lily pad LEDs for this project. I had to use the FTDI connector for this particular lily pad. It wasn't a USB connector. You can see all the conductive thread going from the lily pad to the various components on this project. I had to be really careful not to cross any of the lines and short out any connections. You can see the connection from pad A3 to the first LED and then it's negative conduction. All the negatives could be connected together which was good. But then each LED had its own signal pad and signal line. I had to be really careful not to cross anything. Here's the reed switch and I have two magnets inside the ribbon and it opens and closes. And here's the wires on the inside of the jacket that connect to the battery. Because I'm a new maker, I always have maker mishaps. And for this project, I initially used conductive thread to try to make the connection to the battery, but it needed too much power and it was too far away. So I ended up using wires from my kit and did one wire to connect to the reed switch and the second wire from the reed switch down to the battery in the pocket. I then used just my ribbon to make little pockets and that connected the wires inside the jacket. The second problem was I didn't fully plan out where all my lines would run and as a result I had to sew on some extra fabric so I didn't have wires touching. The third problem I had was that I initially was using the bare conductive thread to test out the code before I sewed it on, but everything was getting tangled. Once I used alligator clips, everything went smoothly. I got all my equipment from SparkFun. They have some really nice tutorials on there. My code is at hoganmade.net. Thanks for watching and happy making.